Good morning. How is everyone? I hope you're having a good Saturday morning. I'm just sort of on the other side here helping someone get into the video and getting all my other devices loaded up. So if you're here, say hello. Tell me what you're up to this morning while I type out this quick message. I am a multitasking genius this morning here. I'm in a team event today and I am doing a bunch of stuff on multiple devices here. So like I said, if you're jumping on, say hello. And uh, I will be with you in two seconds here while I get up the comments so I can see if you're talking to me. If it works, you know, Facebook. Today we're going to talk about slimline cards. Now this isn't something that's new. It is has been around for a while. Um, I would say that Stampin' Up! sort of has just jumped on the bandwagon of products for it. Come on, why are you not showing me what I need to see here? Okay, I hope you can all see me because I certainly can't get myself up. Oh, Glenda's there. So you can see me. I just can't see you. So I'll just have to watch comments here a different way. I don't know. Nothing will come up on my iPad. So I don't know what's going on, I tell ya. And see if that works. So we're going to flip in the catalog here. So in the mini catalog, cheers everybody to Saturday morning, Bailey's and Tea. We're going to flip in the catalog to those products. So on page 52 of the mini catalog, we've got the Slimline Sayings stamp set, which is awesome. I love all the big, bold font of this. And uh, it's a red rubber stamp. And uh, you can definitely like cut apart these words and boss them and then cut them in between and use those on your smaller cards because some of these are quite big and won't quite fit on a uh, regular card size. Um, but just some great sayings in that. We're having some issues. Okay, Glenda, good to know. It's not just me. And then they have added slim line envelopes. And look at these. They have cool insides. And then there's a white one as well, which has the black on it. Let me just get my stuff. Um, so they've got um, the soft succulent inside, the gray, and then the um the white with the black and this is smoky slate this color so great combination of colors that kind of will match with everything um, which is nice and you don't have to make your own although it is fun to make your own as well but these are great you get 15 envelopes um five of each of the three colors um for 13.50 so that's not too bad and then they'll fit your card perfectly um there's also some dies now i haven't purchased the dies yet um just because I'm not sure about these designs. Like, I, I do like this chevron one, but I'm not crazy about this mosaic. So, um, I haven't gotten them yet, but um, they may come in the future. Who knows? Um, but they're great, great products to, to add in if you really, really love some line uh, cards. And hopefully you will when we're all done here and me showing you what today's card is. Um, I also want to draw attention to the New Horizons online class. Um, my cutoff is today. I can extend it to about Wednesday for ordering products. So if you do want to order um, any of the options, um, let me know so that I can get the order in this week. And then this is happening February the 5th, which is um, a Saturday. So I think I said it for the 5th. Um, I can't remember. I'll post something about it today. <laughs> I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Um, 
but great. My team got together and um, we all made a card and uh, it's going to be a really fun class with that New Horizons set. So if you haven't signed up already, you must do so very, very soon. Okay, so we'll jump into today's card. So this is it here. Like I said, it was a slim line. And uh, I kind of took a mashup of a few cards that I had seen. So I was inspired by other people. Um, but um, it turned out really, really cute in um, the final design, I think. So we're going to create that. And then I've just stamped on the envelope a little bit of the hearts and um, some more of the uh, rainbows to finish it off. And then I've used a piece of designer series paper and then the white on the inside um, to finish it off. So super cute. And then I've done this fun design where I've notched it in um, to um, put my linen thread. You know how I love my linen thread. So we'll get started on that. And so for the clouds, I use the Give It A Whirl dies um, because I didn't have the cloud punch that goes with this set yet. So this is the cloud punch here. And it is super cute, but I didn't have it yet. I just got it in yesterday. So I use the um, the Give It A Whirl die. So if you have these, it's got some great stars in there. It's got some clouds that are really fun. And then the stamp set um, comes with some greetings and then the different rainbows and just some little accents that you can put on it as well. So super cute. Try to get that so the light's not shining on it. And then it comes with the rainbow dies, I think that's what they're called, brilliant rainbow dies. Um, so there's some clouds in there too, which I've used on some other sample cards this morning that I'll show you. Um, and it's got some great elements in there. And I'll show you a couple techniques I've done on some different cards with different elements of these. I haven't used this one yet. And I haven't used this one yet. So um, some future cards with, with those products in there. But I did want to show you because celebration is going on right now, as you know, you can get the um, Sunshines and Rainbows Designer Series paper, which we have looked at. There's so many fun designs in here. And um, just different. You can cut out the clouds out of that paper. Some stripes. Just some fun, bold, springy, just happy colors. The rainbows are cute. Um, you've got the rainbows that I'm just going to show you now. This will cut out that but you will get this when you're done because it will cut out those um, colors in it so you'll see in a card that I'm going to show you in just a second here um, where I've used those little die cuts to um, to make a card but uh, you'll get this little sort of image left over which gives you two things in one that you can use the full rainbow, you can use the little up parts that cut out, and then you can use this stentily sort of part for another card. So super cute way to get maximize that designer series paper and get more cards out of it. So um, this is free with a $60 purchase, and then this fun one here. So, and then the back sides, you've got little sunshines, more muted colors, softer colors. I love the little squirrels, um, a little bit bolder there, but just some nice, easier on the eyes patterns on some of these. I love the little rainbows too. And this paper is great for like paper, paper piercing as well. So if you stamp an image and then just cut it out, um, you can get some great uh, images from that as well. So that's that bundle, you get the paper for free um, if you spend $60, which I believe this set comes to $60.25, I think it is. Um, if you got the dies and the um, stamp set, I'll just put this here for now and put it away later. All right, so oh, we'll put that away too. So for our card today, we have a card base that is um, 8 by 7 and scored at three and a half. I've picked the granny apple green for mine. And then we've got a piece of designer series paper that is six by three and a quarter. Um, we've also got a piece of designer paper for the inside that is um, doo -doo -doo, one and three and a quarter. 
looking at my notes here. I don't think I cut a piece for the inside. Sorry, guys. Um, and then I've done a cutout with the Scallops and Contours um, second die in there from the biggest, um, which is great set. I've cut that out of Whisper White. I've got my Cloud dies. Just getting them on my hand here. Out of the Shimmer White um, cardstock. So they kind of have a little bit of a shine, sort of like um, doing your Winky on, or your Winka Stella on your basic white paper. Um, but this is just shimmery already. Uh, what else? So your white piece for the inside, because I didn't cut it, will be seven by three and a quarter. So this piece here, so that your designer paper will still stick out the side. Okay, I did not prep that. You'll need your ink in Poppy Parade, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and Bermuda Bay. You will need, I have used this um, Circle Punch is retired, so that's what I did the little inserts with. Um, but you may still have this in your collection or something else similar. So it's the three quarter inch. You could use the one inch circle punch as well. Whatever you have to make a sort of indent there. Um, I've used obviously linen thread, a brass butterfly. So you'll see those there. And then I've used the polished dots as well. Um, I think that's all of my product. Oh, and then your whisper white. Um, or not whisper white sorry that's the old name um the basic white piece here to cut out for your scalloped contour die is uh four and three quarters by three and a quarter okay so let's assemble this fun slimline card so i've already got all my stamps um placed onto my blocks to make this quicker so I'm going to take my Poppy Parade, and I love that you can build your rainbow in different colors. You don't have to do the traditional, you know, red, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple um, mashup. You can do it sort of in whatever you so choose, which is nice. I'm just going to take that off so that I can put my greeting. And the beautiful thing about this too is that you can take your block and you can manipulate this stamp to the direction that you want the words to go. So I want them to kind of curve around my red stamped or my poppy parade, sorry, stamped uh, layer there so I've kind of manipulated it on my block to follow that rainbow line so that I can stamp my words so it says sending you a rainbow of happiness now isn't that cute right there we go so I've just stamped that in memento black ink and then we will grab the next layer of the rainbow so they all come in different uh, sections and you just kind of line them up and build up your rainbow. So I've kind of gone with the traditional layout of the colors in a rainbow on this one. And I kind of sort of followed, other than the pink, I kind of followed the paper. If I can get it off my sticky note here. I've kind of followed um, the cutout that comes from the designer series paper too. But I put red in there, obviously. All right, and then our Bermuda Bay to finish off. Now, if you didn't have the stamp set and you just got the paper during um, during celebration, um, you can definitely die cut out your rainbow and you could put this instead of stamping it um, and then a different greeting if you uh, didn't have it. And then you could also cut out the clouds that are in the stamp set or sorry, in the stamp set, in the paper. So I've got a few here cut out. I have my little baggie of goodies here. So you can just take the clouds from this and sort of put those in different areas and you may have a different greeting there, but you can utilize the paper to recreate this card as well. You do not need to have the stamp set and the dies to go along. That's what I like about um, them now giving us paper that has those elements in there that um, we can use 
and change things up a bit. So we've got that stamped out looking pretty. Right, Gundy? I love that you can bend it. I love the polymer stamps. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab some dimensionals and we're going to put on our clouds. And I've cut a bunch of different ones in case I changed my mind of which ones I wanted. So you kind of get um, sort of a longish one and then you get more like of a fluffy cloud. I don't know what clouds are called. I know they have names, so, but I don't know what they are. So if you do, you can put that in the comments. So I'm just gonna place those on there. Like I say, I've just put a couple dimensionals on the back. And this one is gonna go on my paper. So I'm just gonna hold that to the side for a second while we attach our paper. So what I've done is just marked with a pencil, my halfway mark uh, on my card. And I'm just going to basically use half of my circle to punch that out. And I've kind of just lined up my punch in the center of um, where I've made my little mark there, my halfway mark. I've basically lined that up in the middle of my circle as well. So kind of use half your circle, halfway, all the half, half, halves. All right, so we've got that done. We'll attach our designer series paper. Oops, I don't have my craft sheet over here. I remembered my take your pick tool, but I didn't uh, remember my craft sheet. So this I'm just sort of going to center in the middle as well. Just like that. And then I'll take my linen thread, get it out of my little jar here, and I wrapped it around three times. So what I do is I just hold sort of, this is going to be the end where I tie my bow over here. So I just kind of hold my finger there and I'm just wrapping it. So I have enough there to tie my bow and I'm just gonna wrap it around three times and get it under there. And then I'm gonna kind of just judge by eyeballing how much I need to tie a bow. I don't need too, too much. I'm kind of a bow tying expert, I guess you could say. But um, if you kind of struggle with tying bows, you may want to leave yourself a little bit more of an end to be able to tie your bow. So I just tied a little knot and then I will adjust and I will tie the bow. And if your bow doesn't stay where you want it to, you can easily put a glue dot underneath the knot to hold it in place where you want it exactly. This one seems to want to cooperate with me today, so I'm going to leave it as is. These scissors are not sharp to cut ribbon, but I will clean up the ends afterwards. I didn't bring my ribbon scissors over. All right, so we've got that done. So now I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this. And some in the middle so that it doesn't sag. Actually, sorry, I want to offset those. You want to make sure that they're on the opposite side of your thread. So they don't create that bulkiness uh, over the thread. You don't want them like sitting right on top of the thread because that's just going to cause you even more problems. So we'll remove the backs so it'll sit on either side there. And we're going to kind of center this on top of our DSP. And if you wanted to preserve um, some of your DSP paper, you could cut a smaller version of the die. So there's one that goes down a size here. This is being smart and using your paper. So this one here, that's the next size down. If you wanted to, you out of your designer series paper, you could cut that die cut and it'll have an open space there, but this is going to be hidden by your larger one over top. So then you'll already have a die cut of this paper out of this die and you've conserved some paper in behind there because we've covered it up and you're not even going to see it anyways. So that's a great way to prolong the life of your 
um, designer series paper, being that it is celebration, it will only be around for a limited time. So you want to use as much of it as you can, right? At least I know I do. So then I'm just going to put my cloud down. And so I put a dimensional on one side, but it's sticking to this um, die cut here. So it doesn't need a dimensional on there. Otherwise, it's going to sit kind of cocky eyed on you. Okay, and then we're going to grab our granny apple uh, ink and stamp some little hearts. Let's grab the hearts here. There they are. So I kind of created my own little background paper by stamping the hearts on the back. And I kind of stamped off as well so that they're not in the threes. This is a super cute little stamp hearts that uh, you'll be able to use a lot of other places as well. So it will come in handy. So we've just created our little heart background there. Okay, and then I'm going to leave this just on the inside because I didn't do the, um, I didn't cut the inside white piece. And I'm not going to um, do that while I've got you live. You can see my finished product because I want to be able to show you all the other ones that I created. Because I'm trying to sell Glenda on this set because she's not sure that she likes it. <laughs> right, Glenda? <laughs> so I'm just stamping off on a scrap because as you can see here, I don't have those at full strength. So I'm just going to decorate the envelope here real quick because I forgot to stamp that while we were doing the card front. So this is called, when you stamp off, it's called stamping off or second generation. So if I had stamped full strength here and then done my envelope, it'd be called second generation. Get my colors right here and mixing them up. Okay, and then we're doing the granny apple green. And I'll leave that open because I'm going to do the hearts. And then Bermuda Bay. Whoops, I kind of went a little bit uh, wonky there. My rainbow ends are not meeting up, but that's okay. It just adds to the, the whimsy of a homemade card, right? And a few little hearts to finish that off. So that finishes off the cute envelope. I'll just set that there. And then I'll grab my embellishments. So brass, brass butterflies, bit of a tongue twister. And so then when you put, actually I can put this down. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going crazy today, you guys. Too many things on the go. <laughs> I'm right, you need this set now, Gunda. You do, wait till I show you the other ones because that's gonna convince you for sure. So you can put this down and then the white will just overlay this a little bit if you had it. So. Um, like my little strip of designer paper probably goes to about right here. And so I've just overlapped it a little bit to finish off that inside. Okay, so that would be the inside finished. So pretend we did that. And then you know me, this is my new thing that I like to mix up all of my embellishments in different ways. So polished dots, Calypso Coral, and Berry Vanilla, although they look a very, very petal pink and clear, but um, Stampin' Up! says that that's what they are. So I've got my Take Your Pick tool here, and I'm just going to place a few down. The Take Your Pick tool, I've talked about it before, and then I always forget to put it over here, is a great tool for picking up these little things if you struggle have arthritis, anything like that. I don't have arthritis that I know of, but um, I do struggle a lot with stiffness in my hands. So I find that that's a very helpful tool for me to pick up these little things. And I don't often have nails. I break them at work all the time. So, And so I'm just adding, mixing up my embellishments because I love these brass butterflies. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yes, I'm always busy. 
I have the day off today, though, Gunda. Don't tell anybody, but somebody might call and want something. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to get things done. I haven't cleaned my house since grade before Christmas and all that fun stuff. So you know how it is. So that is the adorable card with the rainbows. No, it's not rainbows. It's rainbow of happiness and the uh, brilliant rainbows dies. So super cute set. With that bundle, you will get save 10% and you will get um, a free celebration item to which you can get the pack of paper. So good bonus there. So let's slide all this out of the way so I can show you some samples of other ones that I've made with this set. Um, so this one was inspired. This is another slimline card. It was inspired by the Simple Stamper. Uh, Verna is her name. Um, so it's simplesamper.blogspot.com. Uh, and so what she did was she cut with the die those little elements. And she also die cut um, an area in her card front that she put those little pieces into. So what she did was she laid the die cuts into those little um, gaps that were made with the die cut. And uh, I think it's super cute. It looks like it's 3D. I don't know how well the camera will pick that up. Um, but it looks really, really cute. And then these are the clouds from the, um, the die set. Um, so here they are. Um, these ones, you get the the four little die clouds. So there's all kinds of different ones. I've mixed them with basic white and shimmer. The camera probably won't show that. Um, but just to kind of give a little dimension to the clouds because the shimmer paper is not quite um, white. It's kind of like an off-white. So it kind of breaks up the um, dimension of those clouds. So I, I um, improvised a little bit from her original card, but it, to her layout and sort of this design was definitely hers. And then I've done the splattering technique with the chalk marker, um, which we've done before. So super cute card, I think. And then just um, emboss the greeting. So that one um, was from Verna from Simple Stamper at blogspot.com. Okay, this one's from the catalog with the splatter background. Um, so straight out of the catalog, I just um, embellished that. And then it's got the iridescent rhinestones on it, embossed again, the uh, greeting, and then done the clouds in the basic white. So you can die cut that rainbow in any color that you want, mix and match it um, to whatever you like. Um, this is another catalog inspire one that I kind of did my own twist on, changed the colors and stuff like that. But it's got the um, brick and mortar background, the little clouds in the shimmer, and then um, just the die cuts with that bigger die. So that's where this one here comes into effect. It will give you those shapes and it will also give you um, a sort of stencil, if you will. Um, I cut it out of vellum and then I made myself my own stencil um, to use on another card, which I will get to here in a second. Um, but that's what will happen when you use that die to um, cut out your designer series paper. So more use for your designer series paper that you will get for free, obviously. Another catalog inspire, sorry, it's got some dog hair on it. Um, that's that fun border die out of there. And then just using the die cuts again. <laughs> I'm an enabler too, Glenda. <laughs> uh, embellished my, or embossed, sorry, my greeting again. I'm, big on the embossing greetings again. Um, this one was an inspire from Dale Hampshire, which is our, our um, development manager in Canada. He did this one on the live. Very simple, very basic. If you're a beginner stamper, um, he's just stamped thank you. I think he used something else, but I did mine as thank you because it might be a thank you card for something. Um, and just die cut out the images out of the designer series paper, layered on a vellum cut piece with that scallop and contours dies again. And then I've winkied the rainbow, depending whether the camera picks that up. So super easy if you're just starting out and just want to make some cute little note cards or something like that. The paper will come in handy to do that. Um, this one was inspired by um, emkcreations.com. I 
changed a little bit. So it's basically the layout was inspired by her. And then I did my twist on it. So just using more of that paper, doing the die cut with the rainbow, and then just a cute little sentiment and uh, ribbon embellishment. Um, this ribbon is um, the white shimmer, I think it's called. Um, it's on back order right now for a little bit. So um, it's quite popular. So and then the iridescent rhinestones again. So mostly paper and uh, just a great way to use it up because once you get it, you want to use it, right? Don't be hoarding it, people. Use it. <laughs> All right. And then this one is um, an Inspire. Actually, no, I think, well, I changed the greeting here, but it's pretty much um, Madeline. I cannot pronounce her last name, but she is um, Stemple Chick. She's an artisan um, design team member of our, our family, Stampin' Up's family. Um, this is her card design and what she's done is done three dimensional on a couple of the layers of the rainbow. Don't know where that'll pick it up, which I think is really cool. Gives the rainbow some dimension. And then, yeah, she did her greeting differently. Um, but her layout definitely, um, inspired me to make the, her remake her card. Um, this one's another one that's, um, I've changed up quite a bit, but, um, artisan member Helen, um, Legrand. She did one like this. I popped up these layers of that die cut and paper and I think she did all hers in white um, and then she had something I think she used the same metallic uh, paper but I turned this into like a little baby card and used the gold accents and I think it turned out really cute. Hey, that's not fair, Glenda. Not watching me anymore. Okay, and then this one is where I created my stencil and laid it over top and then used my blending brushes and just blended till I kind of got my own ombre effect. And um, then I just stamped some of those simple hearts, um, did a little embossed greeting, and then um, some shimmery white clouds cut out with the polished dots. Um, this one was an Inspire. She actually it was Lillian Kemp that had the idea to make the stencil. I always forget to use my dies to make my own stencils. I don't know why, but she got it in my brain and now it's going to be stuck there. So um, super cute. And then these um, clouds again come from the Give It A Whirl dies. So think about your dies when you're looking at them that um, they can become stencils for you too. Um, this one is another cute little baby card using mostly the designer series paper and then just a few die cuts and then the, um, oh, what are those dots called? Classic matte dots. And then this sentiment comes from the special moments in the designers or in the, um, celebration, um, giveaways as well. And just some simple die cuts of vellum and the paper. Super cute, another sort of babyish card. I don't have enough in my drawer, so I've been creating a little few more because I've been getting some requests. This one's just a simple um, picture this dies and then cutting it out of the paper as well and then just pop dotting the designer series paper in the holes to kind of um, give it some dimension. And then I've just kind of sort of brushed on a little bit of the um, sea foam, soft sea foam ink onto the corners just so it wasn't so stark white and um, made it a cute little thank you card. So this could be a little baby shower thank you card as well for a little girl. And then just one little simple cloud and then polished dots and brush, brush brass butterflies. I have to slow down when I say that um, to embellish that. So super cute, super easy to make and uh, uses up that designer series paper again. And then this fun one, I brought back the puffins, but I've used the designer series paper and the picture this dies again. Um, so I've basically just used the paper as my backdrop and then sort of um, cut the die cuts that come out of this little area here. Um, I've used those and put paper on top of those and used those as little elements to put into the um, little openings, holes, whatever you wanna call them. And then, of course, I've just colored the puffins and the cake and just added it and made it a cute little birthday card. And then I've just vellum cut out um, the middle die here um, for my sentiment. 
which I don't remember where that one came from. And then use the die cut out of the rainbow's dies in gold for, I think I had a little bit left over from something else. So I just um, used some scraps off of my desk, which a few of these cards were. I had a lot of scraps going on um, and made this cute little birthday card. <laughs> I'm killing you now. That was my purpose, Glenda. That's my main focus today was to get you to buy this set. So that's it, my friends. That's all I got for you. I hope I've inspired you with slimline cards. We'll bring our card we did today back in here. Um, that they're fun. And now that you have envelopes and you don't have to make your own if you don't like to, um, it's a great addition to the Stampin' Up! product line. So um, you'll see a lot more of, of slimline cards from me for sure because I love making them. And uh, I hope all of these other ideas have inspired you. And uh, I hope you get some crafty time today. And uh, I am going to jump back online to my team event and uh, learn some more fun things. So take care. Have a wonderful Saturday. And I will see you next week with something. Oh, wait. I was going to make you guys choose. Do you want to create with this beautiful dandelion? Dandelion. Oh, good grief. Daffodil afternoon celebration paper. Or do you want to do catching butterflies? vote 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 I want to know I do not have the stamp set that goes with it but I do have the dies that go with the daffodil dies so you let me know what you want to see next week I have stuff created with both so I'm happy to show you and I want to have your input so if you watch this on the replay um, make sure to uh, let me know and I will prepare for next Saturday I will see you soon take care paper hugs bye bye <laughs>